Facing the fall, today we have new information on reopening plans for Southeast Georgia schools. They include Glenn, Camden, and Brantley counties. The state also releasing recommendations for the upcoming school year. But they're not mandates. Local districts have the authority to choose what best fits their communities. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller has the latest updates on the reopening plans for Glenn County. The first day of school may get pushed back, according to school board member John Medalla, but that will not be decided until a meeting on July 21st. For Glynn, preventative measures starts at home. Parents will have to take their child's temperature daily and provide hand sanitizer for them. If students or staff have COVID-19 symptoms, tested positive, or have had close contact with someone with the virus, they must stay at home. Glynn School says all staff may be required to wear masks. Students are strongly encouraged to wear one. High touched areas will be cleaned and disinfected regularly. There will be entrance and exit procedures. Non-essential visitors will have limited access to entering the building. For recess, there will be staggered use of the playground. For transportation, bus drivers and riders will wear face coverings. Buses will be cleaned regularly. Hand sanitizer will be provided as supplies allow. When it comes to serving meals, Glenn School says grab and go breakfast will be served in the classroom. Meals will be simplified to include hot pre-plated meals in the cafeteria. There will be alternate meal schedules to stagger class visits inside the lunchroom, while others will eat in their classrooms. Bottle refill stations will be installed and there will be weekly supplies of meals available for virtual learning students. For those learning online, daily lessons will be posted on teacher sites and Google classrooms. Progress, attendance, and grades will be posted online. Social and emotional and mental health resources will be made available. Glynn County Schools is currently operating under minimal moderate spread guidance. When I spoke with Medalla, I asked him what would it take to move into the red under substantial spread. Medalla says it's a community decision, including DPH, not just the schools. He also brought up the issue of masks. Medalla says, how will they get the kids to wear a mask? But then there's the discipline side of it. As far as open house goes, it will happen virtually. Glynn School says since the pandemic is evolving every day its action plans could be adjusted at any time it adds it is not offering a hybrid model for students also for children who are hearing impaired face shields will be provided for teachers Brittany Muller channel 4 the local station the state updated its guidance on if a student or school staff member has had direct exposure to the virus and if they're showing any symptoms and how they will move forward we've got this information on our website newsforjax.com